Yes, please send me a ticket. I want to come and he visit. He wants to come to Rio. Yeah, to Rio, Rio, yes. He wants to go to Rio. We're going to bring yeah. Cobra Kai to Rio. Yeah, and John Chris <laughs> needs to dance in Rio. That's he needs to dance. Yes. Yeah, we love Brazil and uh, love your country. A little samba. A samba. A samba. I can do a little samba. It's good. Bye, la muchacha. Bye, la. Oi galera do Pop Series, primeiro dia de San Diego Comic Con e a gente vai conversar com nada mais nada menos que o elenco de Cobra Kai. A gente vai saber todas as novidades da terceira temporada, inclusive vai saber se o Johnny vai conseguir sobreviver sem o Cobra Kai. Então fica ligado. Well, we have... Miguel's in the hospital, we're still waiting for him, he had 24 hours for, uh, to find out how he's going to do, so that 24 hours will be up in 2020 when we release season 3. So we're going to find out how he's doing and uh, we have some real fun things in planning ahead. Ruff? Yeah, we have, uh, one of the things season 3 we'll, we'll deal with is uh, diving into the origins of both Cobra Kai Karate and, and Miyagi-Do Karate. And so learning where that was established, you know, and, and the, uh, the secrets behind both. So there'll be, I think, information that both the LaRusso side and the Johnny Lawrence side will, will then learn about the, their, their, the martial arts that they've, uh, that they've had in their lives. Also, there is a one story that takes uh, LaRusso to, back to Okinawa. So I'm excited to see what happens there. And uh, so that's all we could tease right now. Live without Cobra Kai? Well, he's out of the dojo, but you can, you can take uh, Johnny out of the dojo, but you can't take the dojo out of Johnny. So he is Cobra Kai, so he can he can leave the dojo. But uh, he's been so trained by this maniac. I don't know, it's going gonna, gonna to be a long peel before he's uh, he's a whole person without Cobra Kai. But the, the problem is that John Kreese can't live without, you know, Johnny Lawrence, so... And it's a very dysfunctional without, dojo. Without destroying Miyagi Do. So it's kind of like, you know, we've got a lot of things a to do. A lot of motivation. Yeah. A lot of motivation. <laughs> Favorite scenes of the whole time were in a garden when I appear in his garden and we have a scene together. And when Billy and I are in the shelter and it's just Billy and I. And there was really a little touch of a wise ass, but, you know, vulnerability. Working with them is my favorite of all the stuff we do, because there's just, we're just, there's a level of seasoning that goes on where it just, it's there. You know, you don't got to work at it. And God knows in your career, you always feel like you got to work at stuff. But when I work with them, it just all happens. You know? As far as the dojo goes, when Johnny was running it, there may have been some hope for the kids, so it's great that they all want to join up. Now that this guy's back in control, uh, they might want to look a different direction. <laughs> you know, Miyagi Do know. is still open. Well, See, actually, not really. Not so, right now. I think you know, they both, don't have any options right now. They're both going to be shut down at but, the start. Uh, yeah. I See the support that John Kreese gets. We have, we have some cleaning up to do. Well, we're working on that right now. But uh, yeah, he he uh, he sent her an accidental text, and then she Facebook friended him, but he threw the phone, so he doesn't even know about it. But uh, so he'll uh, he'll reconnect with that phone at some point and get that message, and uh, we'll see what happens.